morning guys! Welcome to Masochizia, it's Omni Dinosaur. Uh, today we're going to be playing the last chapter. Our act, I suppose. So, yay! Um, I don't believe I mentioned this in the last video, oops. But trigger warnings, uh, graphic content, impressive themes, there are some music abuse in the game. Uh, up to this point, we've actually witnessed murder. We've, as the player, taken part in the murder. Uh, sound effects may not be for the queasy. So yeah, you know, all the good stuff. <sighs> so yes, this should be the last chapter. Um, there was a note on the screen. On my, on the screen. On my desktop. I took a peek at it. It looks like... We should read it after this chapter because it sounds like a finale. Um, and so I have it to the side. I actually figured out how to put it on screen to show you guys. So, exciting. Alright, Act 6, The Mouth. Oh yes, this homeboy. Albert. I'm not your lawyer. Hmm. I'm not your priest. These things you speak of, these are dark things. Dark, we're still... Mm. Let's go, I still hear his screams. I'm assuming we're talking about the incident from the last episode uh, with Billy, which was rather gruesome. The past has a way of holding with us. His pain, his suffering. Do his cries haunt you? Perhaps they should. Perhaps you have more feelings than you let on. <laughs> Don't overanalyze me. Oh god, that's my brain. That's my response to all of them. I analyze. You do understand that it's it is my job to question you, to probe. So tell me, Albert, you've done very terrible things. Young Billy, he suffered greatly. But why? What possible pleasure was there to gain in his agony? Why did you make him suffer so greatly? Hmm, let's go with the only way we could be saved. The commandments of God. Ugh. The voice of an angel. The screeching voices in your head. The vicious monsters in your heart. These are not your salvation. They are simply the justification. Your justification. They command. You simply obey. An innocent puppet. Moving as they tug your strings. For one who craves control. You seem to have so very little of it. Huh. So I'm starting to think that this is all in the past. <laughs> is this Albert? Albert, you make me forever comfortable. How does it feel? The weight is lifted from your shoulders. Your true self can emerge from its shell. I think I feel sick. Yes. This is to be expected. This is all so new for you. These feelings. This absolute freedom. Don't worry. The sickness will pass over time. Ugh, I feel so guilty. Let's not be too eager, huh? Yes, guilt. You are human, brother. What kind of person would you be if this didn't bother you? But you're bigger than that. You've placed what was required of you above your feelings. You've done as you were told. You've done as you were meant to do. Is this the end? The end? Oh no, brother. You have only truly just begun. Let us return to the messenger. The sacrament was prepared. The blood has been spilled. 
Alright, let's... Let's dip. I kind of... Don't want to go see... Michael. Hamilton, why? Why do you think we are this way? We did not ask for this calling. Yet... We are. Yo, you got me. We're killers, aren't we? Mm. I want to go for messengers. We're definitely not survivors. Survivors would be like if we only got our parents. Um. Messengers. Oh, how we justify. Did you know the pills don't really change us? They don't really hide us? Ah, uh, that sounds like you need a new prescription, but you know, a little wait. Oh god! Jesus, he just scared. <sighs> I honestly looked away from the screen. I didn't even. Need... Oh my god, is this not the right way? This is a dead end. <sighs> Jesus, that scared me so much. I was not ready. That didn't happen after our father. <sighs> the pills are our crutch. They were never anything more. You said I needed them. And we did. For a time. They helped us cope. Helped us rationalize. Oh god. Wait, I was supposed to tell you guys those words. I will do it at the end. Oh no, I didn't turn off my uh, thing. I'm gonna get lost. <laughs> Oh, uh, is that square gonna just stay there? Oh, I did get lost. Alright, hold on, let me get that square to go away. Alright, so yeah. I did get lost. Do I have stay path? Oh, Jesus. And then there was the uh, magic needles. You remember them? Are you saying they had no purpose? Nay, they had a purpose. They existed for our pleasure. We use them because we want them. Hamilton, never forget, the prescription on our pills is not the essence of who we are. We are who we are. I don't see Albert. Oh, there he is. Look at this hulking beast. If he would so kindly come onto the screen. Yeah? Look at you. Look at you. God, that has to hurt. <laughs> Our child. How you grow. Your feet are firmly planted on the path of our righteousness. But you will not walk this path alone. For we are the mouth. 
and we all walk this path with you. Alright, so I feel that in character for how we've been playing him, we should say the weight is too much. However, for how he actually is, he probably says I hunger for more. And I... Listen, old television graphics, y'all need to cut it out. Doubt, like a cancer of the mind. It is a sickness. Do not wallow in this pit of self-loathing and despair. You accept this destiny, for I have already seen the end. You are the mouth, not the eyes. The mouth speaks what the eyes see. Do not doubt what I see. I have witnessed the ending. There is blood and death. So much death. How many will I kill? For a time, you will count. For a time, you will care. So many young faces. So many, you begin to forget their eyes. Their taste. Uh, question mark. Your sins will be great. Only the blood of the innocent can cleanse you. And true innocence can only belong to the children of this world. This is our modus. But in time, even their deaths will not satisfy your hunger. Your thirst, a sip of the blood, a taste of the flesh. You will partake in the holy communion of blood and flesh. Take, eat, for this is our sacrament. Oh boy, she was always the sweetest kill. Oh, honey. She is destiny. Oh. Now take her. uncomfortable. Oh, I have no weapons. Good. I don't talk to you. Do I talk to Albert? Can I get you off my face? Oh! One dares to turn their back on us. We, the darkness, render of sanity. You deny the mouth of God. Even the devil was an angel once. Ooh, it is a little... Wait. Let me make this comparison. Tread lightly. A mouth is made to consume. It is far too late to turn back. The blood of your father is on your hands. He deserved death. Judge. Jury. Executioner. I don't need to defend my decision. How you justify, but how do you justify the child? His blood cries out from the warehouse. His blood, so sweet, so innocent. I regret it. I regret everything. I speak. You obey. It is too late to change now. You need not justify your actions. You must embrace them. Do you not see? There is no other choice. Hmm. Our name? Jesus, he's huge. Is 
Albert. This is fate. Every troubled step you take brings you to me. That could, that cold hit in your heart, the frenzied realization that you are, in fact, not in control. Listen and understand me. I have made mistakes. Mistakes were mine to make. Decisions were always mine. I may not control this moment, but I. <sighs> the only thing is, I know the end is set. The cold steel against my brow. <laughs> Goodbye, Angel. Alright, I'm not gonna try walking away. I don't have. Can we not go to the side? Where is Grace? Oh my god, I lost my mouse in the jiddle thing. Oh god, that scared me. <laughs> you walked the steps of Death's Dream Kingdom. The harrowing eyes of those that have gone before, how oh, they line its shores. They stare back at you. They stare through you. You begin to realize we are but passengers here. A choice, a single choice can alter the course of our existence. A world of pain, of cruelty undone by a single decision. To have reached this place, you have blindly obeyed us or willfully chosen to cross that line between man and violent beast. A thousand violent choices in your wake. Now you seek to rewrite your past? We should leave you to your inequity. But no. We will extend our mercy, the very same mercy that you failed to extend to your father. The same mercy you withheld from Billy is now yours. And now you set foot upon the banks of the river, you join the ranks of those standing silently upon the shores, you turn your gaze across the river, and behold, through the fog you see them coming, you see through them, hollow men, violent men. Death is not the end, at least not our end. We come as we are, then we are what you're not. You conformed to complete the work, but in the end, you altered destiny. You denied fate. But what was the point? Who are you? <laughs> Who am I? I don't see how that can be very important. I'm not one of importance. I'm simply the one who gets to ask the questions. But the answers? They're there for you to decide. I don't think I understand. You don't have to part understand to partake. I ask the questions. You answer them. Oh, Albert. You still don't understand. You don't control fate. You don't even control when this ends. I do. Huh. Oops. Uh. The game X'd out. This is on my desktop. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't forget you. I will always be here with you. Huh. Okay. 
okay. Uh, so I know that's how it ends. I have this this want to open a game and check, but I know that's not. All right. Well, I shall for you now read the uh, letter that was on the desktop. Ah, uh, Jesus! I can't even see it. <laughs> well, friend. It would appear that you have completed my story. Or have you? Well, you've played as far as you were able to. Did you enjoy my game? No. Well, it's not for everyone. I could tell you had mixed feelings about what you did. Understandable, I suppose. But I suppose our time is done for now. Perhaps you will never hear from me again? Or perhaps I will always be here now? And maybe you will find letters from me again when you least expect it. <laughs> Behave now. I know what you're capable of, and I'll be watching you. So... That happened. <laughs> oh boy. So... Uh... I guess that's it. That's the end of Masochizia. Um, a couple of notes that I did tell you guys I would in fact tell you. This is a true story, as is mentioned in the first, very beginning of the game, the very first episode. Um, it is based on a serial killer known as Hamilton Howard Albert Fish. He was an American serial killer, and he lived from 1870 to 1936. So, like I said, I believe in the first episode, uh, it's based in the 1930s. Um... He was known by a couple other names. The characters that we actually saw in the game were a few of them. The Grey Man, a uh, Werewolf, a Wisteria, Brooklyn Vampire, the Maniac, and the uh, Boogeyman. Um, the homeboy in question, Albert Fish, was a serial killer whose primary crimes were children. He was a child rapist and a cannibal. Uh, and apparently boasted of having a child in every state. Now, whether that's referring to rape victims or cannibalization is unknown. Uh, he was, I believe, um, not confessed. He was, uh, confirmed for five, three, for only, for very small numbers. For a very, very teeny number. Uh, his trial was with a small girl and a young named Grace Bud, and I believe he wrote the mother a letter at some point. I don't know. It's it's strange. Um, he was convicted of that, and that was the murder, kidnapping, etc., that uh, put him to death in the electric chair. Um, if that's your kind of thing, totally go look at it. It's very interesting. Um, there was a movie in 2007 that came out called The Gray Man. It was about his crimes. They were dramatized. Or dr dramatized, I guess. Uh, Patrick Bauchow plays Albert Fish, if you guys know who that homeboy is. Um, but yes. I think this is something that you guys would find interesting. Um, to at least know that it is a real thing and it's not just some crazy person making up the game. Uh, the game overall, I think, was actually very well done. I liked the art style. It was very strange, uh, but appealing. And, um, I don't know. I have a very, a very <laughs> love-hate with psychological horrors. I like the horrorness of it, of, like, oh, what's happening? Oh, twist endings. Oh, no, chaos. I don't so much like actually playing out murders. But, yeah, um... The game looks like there would be multiple endings, but I have looked it up, I have searched things, I found stuff from the developer, and there is only one ending because it is a true story. So, alright. <laughs> I guess I'm just kind of rambling now. Uh, thanks for sticking through, we made it to this part, yay, I hope you guys liked it. Uh, let me know in comments, I guess, if you can have a conversation, that would be pretty neat. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye!